Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it is another Coaster Friday. Today we're going to do a pineapple coaster. For the pineapple coaster, I have this Aztec Gold that I'm going to add to an ounce of resin. I'm going to pour it right into my mold. I'm going to take my lighter, pop the bubbles, and I'll let it cure for a minimum of 12 hours before I pull it out. The first layer of our pineapple coaster has cured, so I'm going to pop it right out of the mold. I have this metallic pewter paint and a liner brush, and it's just regular acrylic paint. It happens to be a metallic. And I'm just going to paint across. All right, then I'm going to go across. I'm going to put a dot in the middle and we're going to just let that dry before we put another layer of resin over it. So I'm going to add about an ounce of resin to this and I'm going to do it kind of slowly. Let it spread out. Then I'm going to take my lighter, pop the bubbles, and let this sit a minimum of 12 hours before we come back. Now we get to finish off our pineapple coaster, and I'm just going to use the actual coaster as a guide. And this is just to finish off our pineapple. And this is a whimsical pineapple, so we're not looking for any kind of perfect. So this is the basic shape we are going with right here. And we can see the pineapple right on there. So I'm gonna cut this out. And this is just on regular paper. I'm cutting it out to use it as a template. So now I have some craft foam and it's just regular craft foam that I got at the craft store. I'm just going to trace around the pineapple. All right, and then I'm just going to cut it out. And the beauty of craft foam, in my opinion, is how easily it just cuts out. Regular scissors, nothing fancy. I've selected colors. Most of it is multi-surface paint because that's a little bit more durable. I've got a mushroom, a couple different browns, a green, and then I have two metallics. This was an oops. I didn't mean to get that much on there. And then I have, which it's a metallic antique gold and then a metallic pewter. And that was just to kind of get a little shimmer in there with it. So I'm going to start with the mushroom. And I'm just going to be painting the top or the front of it. I'm not going to paint the back side. And I haven't looked at a pineapple in a while, but I'm just trying to remember what it might look like, what colors might be in there with it. Not that I'm going for realism. And then I'm just going to add different colors as I go. You can add, you can take away, you can do whatever you want and kind of blend them together. Get a little brown in there. We'll add a little pewter in there. A little sparkle, a little bit of this gold mess. A 
I'm going to put just a little bit of dark in the middle to build from. Then we'll go back and add some of the colors again just to streak them through the stuff that we lost. And there's the top of our pineapple. Now I'm going to kind of do a little bit of the same around, just around the edge. Because I'm sure a little bit will be showing. We don't gotta do the whole thing. I was going to leave the edge edge black, but I'm thinking I'm going to actually carry it over to the actual edge and just leave the back black. This has dried and now all I need is some glue. I'll just spread it around. And it dries clear in case anything should squish out. And then I'm going to just place it on here just like this, press it down, and let it dry. And now we have this cute little pineapple coaster. So I hope you like the pineapple coaster and I hope you give it a try. And it's fun to mix mediums, like to mix the craft foam with the resin and I've done it with felt and resin. I've done it with wood. So if you can think of fun combinations, I'd love to hear what they are. Um, of different mediums to use and mix, maybe for a coaster, maybe for a different project. Be sure to leave those down in the comments below. And if you have not joined the Creating with Craft Clutch group over on Facebook, I encourage you to do so. It's a great place to share your ideas and also get help from others if you happen to get stuck or need a little advice. So head over there. I'll have that link down in the description below. And remember, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.